A teenager charged with raping a 60-year-old man appears in court today. The judge's decision on how he will be tried is coming up. And two women lead to the arrest of a rapist after the man attacked them on the same day. What connection helped officers arrest the suspect? More details tonight on a man accused of raping two women over the age of 60. Good evening, I'm Calvin Snee. I'm Kim Chapman. Chattanooga police say they've got valuable information from the suspect that matched stories from both victims. News Channel 9's Brianna Arredondo joins us now with those details. Brianna. Kim Calvin, police say Derek Dwayne Caldwell has been in and out of jail this month, and according to affidavits, he allegedly raped two women within two days he was out of jail. But it was specific details from victims that led investigators to Caldwell. Two sexual assaults, both at night. Derek Dwayne Caldwell is behind bars tonight, accused of raping two women in their homes on December 10th and the 11th. It's extremely difficult for a victim of a rape, which is a very personal and private crime, to come forward. Chattanooga police tell me one happened in the Hickson area and the other in the Brainerd area. In this police report, detectives say the first victim came home and walked into her bedroom to find the suspect. Caldwell allegedly got inside after breaking a glass pane and unlocked the door. Police say he grabbed the victim and said, do what I say. Then police say he pushed her onto the bed and raped her. In this case, we had victims who approached our Rape Crisis Center, which is staffed by extremely caring and professional staff. The second victim told police the suspect grabbed her by the shoulders and throat, threatening her. Both victims described the alleged rapist as dressed in all black with orange jail socks. Armed with that description. They discovered a lead. Uh, another detective had a previous case from October, uh, Detective Miller worked with Detectives Plumley and Detectives Peeker, who were assigned these two rapes, and he identified a suspect, a person of interest from a previous burglary. Then officers say details from Caldwell about his father and playing high school football matched stories from both victims. Caldwell was already back in jail when police questioned him. We will continue to pursue the remaining leads. We have evidence that has been sent to the TBI lab that we hope will give us a definitive answer. And police say the suspect did not know the victims before the alleged rapes. Caldwell is in the Hamilton County Jail at last check on $425,000 bond. He's back in court on December 22nd.